Hey guys, okay, so today I am in for a review. Uh, a lot of you saw that wig that I got from Hia Hair, and I posted a picture of it on Instagram and on Tumblr, and I got a lot of messages on both asking about quality and everything, so I figured I'd do a review on it. Inside the box, you get this bag with a wig in it, and um, the tag looks like this. It says the Hia hair on it, and then the back is um, Amazon tag. Inside the bag, along with the wig, you're going to get two wig caps. I already have one open, and then they are in packaging like this, a wig cap. Um, they are the double open-ended ones, so really easy to put on if you have long hair. You literally just stick it over your head and pull it up, and it pulls all your hair into it. I have short hair, so I honestly don't even need to wear a wig cap. Okay, so I got this white blonde wig. I'll tag it in the description below along with the website for um, these wigs. This wig is honestly, it's synthetic, but it has no fake shine to it at all. I don't know if you can tell in the video, um, but it honestly has no synthetic gross shine to it. It looks like real hair and it feels really soft. I did put mine in this little falcon pony. Normally it's down. But I put it up because if you can see in here, the hair is so light and the back of it's a little thin. So like the tracks, you can see those are showing through. So this fountain pony just adds more thickness to the back and covers that up and still looks really cute. A lot of wigs that are along the like less expensive price points, which this is a really nice wig for the price that it is. Like I am in love with it. Um, a lot of those wigs will have one or two things you won't like about them. Like this one does have that thinner back where the tracks do show through, but there are a lot of ways to fix that too. Like you can put little hairstyles in like this that'll cover it up. You can um, do some styling to the back and some teasing to lift it away from the cap. Look at my mannequin. Okay, so my sister was in beauty school and she had these mannequins that she had to do like eyelash extensions on and stuff like this one got all the hair cut off so I could put wigs on it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll hide this in my sister's bed and then like put pillows by it so that it looks like a person's body and then she thinks someone's in there and it's so funny. Oh my gosh. So if you see in here, I did already cut my lace obviously, but the inside of it is a cap, but they do give you a decent amount of space for the part. They give you three clips in here. I really wish there was a clip in the bottom to go across the back, but I can live without it. Um, they do have, though, if you can see this, these little clips here to tighten the wig. So if you do have a smaller head, the wig will still fit you. I'm gonna put this on real quick and I will be right back, okay? Okay guys, so I am back and this is what the wig looks like when it is actually on your body. See, it does look really natural actually, like the hairline is super good. And even if the hairline that is on the wig doesn't match your specific hairline, you can adjust it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of space in there for a part. So if you want a different hairline, you can actually cut the shape of that hairline into the lace. So this is how long it is. You can see that. Ignore my Charlie Sheen shirt. Okay. So it goes down to where my pants. <laughs> Start. So it is a very, very long wig, um, but it is super gorgeous. If you are looking for a wig that's going to look really natural on you, this one does work. The only problem that I had with it, literally out of everything you could have wrong with a wig, the only problem I had with this one is that tracks in the back. And when you do this kind of hairstyle with it or tease it a little bit, you're not going to have that issue. So this kind of a wig could work really well for someone who is looking for a natural wig. I do really like this wig. I do have that one issue with it and if that is a die hard, like you cannot worry about any of the styling, you need it to be perfect right out of the box, then this wouldn't be the wig for you. But most wigs will not be like that. You're going to have to style 99% of wigs for them to look the way you want. So. <laughs> That is something to keep in mind. If you guys like this one, I'm going to link it below. But I am probably going to come out with more review videos. 
as time goes on and I hope that you guys do really like me doing these. Don't worry, there is a tutorial coming out soonish. If you guys liked this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, also give it a thumbs up. I am going to be doing a Q&A sometime soon here and I'm trying to collect questions for it because I haven't done one in a while. So if you guys want to post questions in the comment box, feel free to and I will answer as many as possible. Make sure to subscribe and go check out my other videos and I will be back with you soon. Peace out!